Hello everyone, this is the Super Wig Maker, this is another video of another order. This time I'm making a mini frontal about 5 centimeters deep or 2 inches. Uh, this is a returning customer and she wants to have, she used to get um, just new hairlines from temple to temple and now she wants to have something from ear to ear and a little deeper. For this purpose I just dyed some hair bulk, it's Indian hair. This is a little wet so the color doesn't really show. This is like a neutral ash brown and this is like um, a little lighter. This is almost a number seven. So I'm gonna have to remove the hair from the from the whole thing. I'm gonna have to blend it and then I'm gonna make the base and show you how I'm gonna make it. It's done. Let me just remove a little bit of lighting because I think this is too light. You probably can't see much. There is a fold in the back. No ribbons because she's not gonna sew it in, I think. But even if she does, this is doubled, so it should be good. <clears throat> this is Swiss lace. And yeah, I'm just gonna have to uh, ventilate the hair. And here's what. She's having her hair always in a ponytail. That means that I'm not going to have to make everything high definition. I plan to have about a centimeter worth of high definition, one and a half in the front, one in the sides, and then the rest is going to have more hair in order to be able to uh, conceal her own thin hair and the tracks that she's going to put, like the hair extensions. So I finally finished this. I had a couple of problems. I had to go to the dentist. Oh. And yeah, it's a very small frontal, has a lot of density in the back. You can see that this is just this amount of hair, but it's so much hair up here. Uh, the front is high definition, the back is not. I am planning to not bleach the knots because the lady said that she doesn't, uh, she's gonna wear the thing. She's gonna have her own leave out in the front. I really didn't understand ex exactly what she does. She just pulls her own hair in the front and just puts it puts it upwards I really don't know but she said that it doesn't really matter for her so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take out all the braids this was braided as well this one is this is why it's curling now the hair normally is just straight yeah I'm gonna take out these braids as well You see how much hair it has here. Yeah, the hair is wavy because you're actually gonna have to. And this is how she's gonna be wearing this. So she's gonna be able to um, brush it. It still has a little bit of 
attention going to some specific direction here. But it's gonna be just fine. When she wears it, she will be able to just brush it the way she wants it. Put a little bit of hairspray. And it's gonna stay there. I said that I wouldn't bleach the knots, but I actually ended up doing that. Because she requested it. She's, I mean, only the hairline. Just a tiny little bit. And yeah, now I have to dry this before I can send this. Now I'm really, I am happy that I don't use Indian hair very often because all of these seem to be very good. They do seem to have a little bit of tangle, just a tiny little bit because I have all also, um, this is my thin hair. You can see how beautiful that is. And I dyed it the same color and I had to cut too much of it. This is good hair. The This is a blend of the Indian and this and I blended the Indian because I didn't want it to have so much luster. Look at that. And it, you know, this is the, the hair that has a beautiful nerve. Indian hair is more um, dull and at some point it's a good thing because some people have their hair dyed and it's diamonds and it's not extremely like the healthiest hair. So you want this to match your own hair. It, it, I mean, yeah, who wouldn't want to have this hair? But if you don't have this hair, you can use it. You need to make this work with your own hair. Like for example, my hair um, is European. It's it's a little bit shiny, but it's, it doesn't have this nerve. Look at the movement of my hair and look at the movement of that hair, because this is Asiatic hair. European hair is not always like that. It's straight hair, but it's pretty uh, thin and lightweight, and this is not. So if, if, if I wanted to use fake hair for myself, uh, I would be better with um, a mixture between shiny hair because my hair has a shine and Indian hair for the fluffiness and the, you know, it's more um, lightweight. But anyway, um, this hair is gonna work. It's not gonna be a problem. Like, I have already put some of my keratin research things here, the shampoo, the conditioner and what else? living conditioner so it can really uh, feel very well so yeah that's it thanks for watching and ask me anything you want i'm going to try to reply to all of your comments as soon as possible